What's up, guys? <gasps> and welcome to CNA Films and Animation. <laughs> I'm Mr. Giggles, and <laughs> I'm out. Today we are reviewing Scooby Doo meets the Loch Ness Monster and Aloha Scooby Doo. So, let's start with uh, Scooby Doo and the Loch Ness Monster. Uh, it follows uh, heroes mm -hmm. as they go to uh, Scotland? Yes. To uh, Daphne's cousins? I think it's cousins? Yeah. Um, to her family's uh, castle yeah. from her Scottish heritage. Okay, first time that's mentioned, but alright. <laughs> um, uh, once there they learn that uh, the Loch Ness Monster has been seen attacking, not attacking, there's been many sightings and when they get there uh, the Loch Ness Monster attacks mm -hmm. and they have to solve the mysteries of what's going on. Is it an actual creature or is it someone faking it? Yeah. Yeah, so this movie was, um, it was okay. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, uh, honestly, this one, I, at this point, I'm just kind of guessing along the way because I, I haven't seen any of these. And so I'm just like, it was that person. Nope. It's that person. Well, after about 20 people, I finally got the people. <laughs> but I, I did get the motive right away. Yes. Um, but anyway, I mean, you know, to a small point, it was uh, a little predictable in places. But, yeah. but I mean, you know, it's uh, for a kid's film, it's, it's okay. The music for the film... It has a Scottish theme to it. Scottish. Yeah. Some... And, my, uh, maybe a little Irish, maybe. Um, it's not. It's okay. Yeah, I. It's not particularly like music that I listen to all the time or anything. It's not something that I'm fully used to. Mm. But you know, it's it's not bad. It's just not something I'm used to. Yeah. Uh, didn't notice watching this. They put in quite a bit of um, references to other movies. Mm -hmm. There's a Jaws reference. In yeah, and, uh, a couple more. They're okay. Yeah, uh, that young kid probably wouldn't realize them, but mm -hmm. I mean, you, it's one of those things where, as an adult, it's pretty obvious what they're referencing. But as a kid, you probably won't know what they're referencing. Yeah. So having the references in there, I guess, is for the adults, but it's really not for adults. Yeah. It's just one of those weird things. That they're trying to be hip so adults can even watch it and be like, oh, hey, but I'm hip. <laughs> but yeah. It does not work with Scooby Doo. <laughs> but remembering back, I, I used to really like this one. It was. I thought it was okay. Um, but you pointed out to me the, the monster, the Loch Ness monster, when you see it move, mm -hmm. they. Try to do it in 3D-ish. Yeah. And it looks really bad. Mm -hmm. It does. It moves like a robot. Yeah. Which, spoiler alert, it is. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. It. It's not. It's. It's not hiding it very well. Yeah. Not like the next film, which we'll talk about. Yeah. Yeah. Um. And there's there's one scene I thought was bad where the Loch Ness monster is tearing apart the castle, mm -hmm. even though it causes a tower to collapse. Yeah, and no one hears it. Yeah, I, it's, there's there's things wrong with this movie. Yeah, but, um, you know they they have faction scenes to I guess keep the kids entertained, and then you know just kind of a half-assed. Uh, explanation for everything yeah but uh, yeah 
and then they end the, the whole uh, Nessie is real or is she yeah and then, then they show Nessie yeah so like so you just made the statement and now this mm -hmm. so your statement was pointless yeah and uh, this was one of the few movies that the villain doesn't get punished. Yes. Uh, she's, um, it's the villain's professor, and she's using it to um, convince a colleague that there is such thing as a Loch Ness Monster. Mm -hmm. Which, they have put people in jail for less than that. Yeah. And uh, she, she doesn't even really get a slap on the wrist. No, you know, she, just, she causes causes th thousands of dollars in property damage. Historical property, mind you. Yes. And, uh, nothing. So... No, no cops, no anything. But, yeah. So, I mean, that there's that. Um, like I said, it's just okay. Um, not very memorable by any means. Uh, I... Honestly, probably six months from now, I probably won't even remember I seen it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, what would you give this out of ten? Uh, six. There's some parts that are I liked. Uh, the Scot uh, the Scottish theme I thought was okay. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the characters are all right, but the. Um, the monster and the ending are lackluster. Mm -hmm. So what about you? Yeah, I'm probably going to go with 5.8. Um, it's just okay. It's kind of middle of the road. Yeah. Um, it's not the worst Scooby-Doo movie I've seen, but it's far from the best. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's really about it. Uh, let's move on to Aloha Scooby-Doo. Uh, the Aloha Scooby Doo follows uh, the game. They go to Hawaii. They're, this uh, this one story, um, a lot of the driving force is Daphne in this one. Mm -hmm. This is more of her story, even though it's not. It is. It isn't focusing on her. Mm -hmm. She apparently has um, got in with this company to make. Uh, swimwear mm -hmm. and she's designing them but and she's giving uh, tickets to come to Hawaii mm -hmm. and there is a um, surfing competition yeah which in, uh, evokes the wrath of Wiki Tiki who sends down his minions to terrorize the contest yeah and he kidnaps a girl named Snooky. Uh, no, don't be confused with uh, Jersey Shore Girl. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we found where the name came from, though. Yeah, probably. But uh, but anyway, uh, the these tiny tiki monsters take Snooky, and uh, her boyfriend is uh, this giant. You know, he's a big surfer uh, pro, I guess. And, you know, he's more or less devastated, you know, he's, his girlfriend's gone, and so he's yeah. not really sure what to do. Yeah, him and his buddy keep saying that the um, fact that there's so many off-lander, off-islanders there, and that's evoked the, the wrath of the Tiki, um, oh, throughout the movie, that's all it's about, like, and which... It does the whole um, people off island who mm -hmm. come in are pretty much all jerks. Yeah, and it plays on that, and it's up to Scooby and the gang to uh, find Snooky and you know figure out uh, if this is an actual curse, if it's an actual monster, or if it's you know some guy in a costume. Uh, which really is kind of the basic plot for every Scooby-Doo incarnation, but that's besides the point. Yeah. So, this movie, I'll be honest, has quite a few problems. Uh, first off, I guessed this pretty quickly. Uh, I, 
you would say so too. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, I and I didn't have to go through like twenty different people to get most of the stuff. It was funny. He was guessing just to guess. He didn't even. He's like, it was her and him. Yep. Really? What? <laughs> yeah, and they they tried to the pull this whole don't um, don't judge people by their covers mm -hmm. thing. We, they don't pull it off very well. But uh, Snooky, they uh, apparently is a rocket scientist. Yeah. Even though they don't ever uh, reveal that, except. When they're revealing the end, yeah, which Velma pulls out evidence from nowhere. Yeah, she's like, she, uh, I guess, right before the thing, looked up on the internet or something. It, it makes no sense. She finds all the clues literally at the end. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I mean, you know, Snooky, she was working on, uh, she was working on the little. Uh, tiki monsters. Yeah. They are all robots with weird animation. Yeah, the animation on them is really poor. But I'll be honest, I did not expect them to be robots. Um, and the reason is because they looked and moved yeah. like like monkeys, basically. Yeah. The movement of them was was better than uh, uh, Loch Ness monster. Yes, but they whenever they did a close up, they looked funny. Yeah. Whenever they did a um, a running scene, or like they're all coming at the village or whatnot. They look decent, mm -hmm. but uh, you know they they did look weird. But I never put two and two together that they were robots. So that twist was a little bit unexpected, but um, still I pretty much guessed the entire motive and who was behind it pretty damn quick. Yeah. And I said at the beginning that it's kind of Daphne's story. She doesn't take like a hit at um, the lead or anything, mm -hmm. but throughout, um, she's apparently an expert surfer. Mm -hmm. uh, she f ends up finding the few clues that they do. Yeah, and most of them she just stumbles across. Yeah. She actually fights the tiki on the surfboard with it. Yeah. Um, all this stuff that they've never shown before. Mm -hmm. it, it just was... I, I don't care that it was her movie or whatnot. It just... Um, they haven't really done anything like it before. It's just... Like, okay, where's this all coming from? A little bit out of her character. But it is adding to the character. Mm -hmm. But they never establish it later in the series. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> They'll occasionally have something where she's has this unique skill for some random reason. Okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, this one's very forgettable. Yeah, the, the reveal is kind of. You had that for this character. Uh, they, they, um, what I mean is they, it's the it's Snooki and Mahala mm -hmm. and I, it, it's them they did it I just saved you the whole movie <laughs> yeah um, it's a real estate scam mm -hmm. but uh, the way they've set up the, their characters that they actually show is that they're more um, traditional and one they keep keep uh, the island for the native islanders. Mm -hmm. But in the reveal, they're just wanting to sell it yeah. to make money. Um, oh yeah, Scooby-Doo wins the serving contest even though he doesn't do anything. Yeah. Uh, just a bunch of... Uh, stuff that makes no sense uh, in fact uh, they do go to jail in this one uh, whereas in Loch Ness Monster she doesn't which <laughs> I'd say that they, they did a little bit less but then again they had somehow uh, the Tiki monster shooting fireballs at people 
Yeah, but this is a real estate scam. They're causing people to run away and sell their pro uh, houses at bottom prices. That's their problem. <laughs> but anyway, um, this one has a lot of issues. It's oh, yeah. not really one that I'd say you have to go see. Um, very, very predictable. Uh, it's just kind of a generic Scooby-Doo movie. Yeah, the very generic. Um, it is one of the. F is it the only one that has something ahead of Scooby Doo in the title? Yeah, one of the, one of the few. Okay, usually it's Scooby Doo, something something. This one's Aloha Scooby Doo. Yeah, and there's been about three or two or more that have something before it. Uh, there's uh, Chill Out Scooby Doo. Which we'll get, we'll see later, and then there's uh, Big Top Scooby Doo. Okay. Uh, this is the first one. Yeah. So there's two others. There might be a couple more. Okay. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah. So what would you give this one out of ten? Uh, a four. Okay. It. Um. It has some neat stuff to it. Mm -hmm. The fireball shooting out of the monster space. I know we didn't mention that. Was okay. It makes no sense because he's a surfer thing, but yeah. And they really don't come out of anywhere. I mean, come out of his face, but they don't nah. show the mechanics of it or anything. Yeah. They, uh, good example. The fireballs. They can blow up a building. Or a shack or whatever, but they hit but somebody and just barely scorches. Yeah, makes no sense. But let's go with it. <laughs> uh, How about you? Yeah, I'm probably gonna go with a 3.7. Okay. Didn't like this one very much, but yeah. you know, I guess if you want your put your kids through it, they might enjoy it. Uh, but it's just not very good. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, tell us, guys. Have you seen uh, Scooby-Doo and the Loch Ness Monster or Aloha Scooby-Doo? If you have, what would you think of them? Did you like them? Did you dislike them? Uh, what would you think of the monsters? What would you think of the reveals, uh, the twists and turns throughout the animation? Because there was the normal animation, and then there was the 3D animation. Uh, you know, if, comment below. Let us know. If you have anything to say about these, feel free to leave them in the comments. Yeah. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other videos. And be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you have any movie suggestions or TV suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And as always, I'm Corey. I'm Alan. And we'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later.